So I am Tammy Lisi. I am with a company called Lisi Ventures, which is my own consulting firm. And I am a formulations chemist. I've been a formulations chemist for over 25 years now. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about what it takes to be a formulating chemist and how to formulate your own products. The, the first thing I would say is, you know, I have a degree in chemistry and it really helps me on my path. That doesn't mean that everyone needs a degree in chemistry to formulate a product. The starting point for formulating is, first of all, to go look at what the suppliers are doing. A lot of them are happy to give you a formula card to get started, help you understand how to use their materials. Another good way is to hang out in some of the different forums that are out there, such as making skincare or um, Perry Romanowski's uh, forum, Chemist Corner. There's some great places to go. One of the things that we do quite a lot is reverse engineering of formulas that helps you understand how the ingredients are being used. And there's a lot of great free courses on how to do this. So if you want to get started in formulating, I would start with some simple Google searches and reaching out to chemists who are currently doing it so that you can get as much help as you can along your way. So formulating, to me, means starting to build a product and doing product development from the beginning. So what you're doing is you're taking raw materials and you're determining how to put them together into a finished product that a consumer can use in a way that's going to be beneficial to them and complete their need for a sensory or an effect at the end of the use of it. And then they're going to want to go and repurchase it or learn more about the brand that created that. And that's really what formulating is. Formulating begins with people who have started with a recipe a lot of times. So the recipe comes from maybe a soap making book or a lotion making book and it just gives you the basics of how to make very simple formulas. What formulating is, is taking that to the next step and actually figuring out what the ingredients you're going to use is from the very beginning. So now you're looking at each raw material and figuring out how those materials are all going to fit together in a finished product. When you are formulating, the way to know that you're ready for this and like the crucial step for me when clients call me and they want to create their own formulas is they have a very specific need in mind, number one, and then number two is they're ready to put into place the quality parameters that are required to have consistent product going out the door. So it's really simple to formulate to, to me these days, very simple. But the big difference between a beginner and a chemist is going to be consistently creating a formula that meets the same quality over and over again. If you, if you make a recipe and you're cooking, let's say you're cooking, and you throw some stuff and you're like, man, that was really good food, but you can't make it again, you may not be ready for a formula. The question is, is how many times can you repeat this? Can you make it again and again and again? And that is the difference between someone who can only follow a recipe and someone who is a true formulator. So my number one advice for people who are just starting out is try to find yourself a good mentor. Somebody that you can communicate with, you can bounce ideas off of, and you can start to learn from. Once you find that person, or maybe you're not even in communication with them a lot, but you're following them on social media or whatever have you, then you can also go to the raw material suppliers and start to use them as your mentors and get some ideas from them. Once you're willing to put your neck out there and start going to that level, you can start creating products at a new level 
of development and it's going to give you a lot more brand, branding power and that type of thing. So I think that's really crucial is, is find that mentor person, find that person who can help you on your path. So I hope this helps you on your path to becoming a great formulator. For more information, please check out the HSCG video library on the website. Thank you.